Good morning. Good morning. Come on in. Come on in. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. Come on in. Come on in. Welcome. 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 Come on in. Give everybody a few minutes to get on in here. Tag and share. We're going to get started in just one moment. You see me looking off because I'm live streaming simultaneously on Periscope as well as Facebook. Good morning to you, Blue Top. How are you doing? Thanks for joining. Please share. I appreciate that. Good morning, Shanae. How are you? Good morning, Lisa. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for tagging. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for even joining me this morning. So we're going to get started. Welcome to the Money Matters Morning Show, where we talk all things faith, finances, and the freedom of good credit. And today we're talking about it. Is it a FICO or is it a FACO? One of my um, credit clients had a question for me. They wanted to know why did the lender reflect a different score than what they saw on Credit Karma? So it required me doing some research, and so I did. So I'm going to educate you guys today on what I found during my research to introduce myself to some and reintroduce myself to others. I am Nefertiri Robinson, and I'm a life coach as well as an author, and I assist, assist professionals to, that need to fix their credit so they can get the things that they want. So let's get started. So first of all, generally, credit score is just a very generic term. Um, so a lot of people say, oh, what's my credit score? What's my credit score? That's just very generic altogether. Now, FICO, F-I-C-O, is actually the brand name of the um sorry brand name of a credit score it's the one that's the uh, most well known as well as it was developed by fair isaac um way back in the day hun and so and so most people uh so fico is the one that's very well known but it's kind of like a brand name it's just like band-aid to your bandage so that's the brand name now any other score is normally called i'm calling it the fico score f-a-k-o so any scores you get from any place else other than myfico.com is a FACO score. So I did look on FICO.com just to kind of see what offerings they had. And if you want to get your FICO score, what it would cost you to get that. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. That's too funny. <laughs> so, um, oh, God. OK, so here it is. So it's fifty nine eighty three when I checked this morning. If you wanted like to get um, three boroughs and their credit score, you want to see the reports from all three boroughs, Equifax, TransUnion, as well as um, Experian, and get the three credit scores from myfico.com. That was the price when I checked it this morning. But like I said, all other scores, the FACOs, F-A-K-O, is generally for educational purposes. It's not really what a lender would use to approve you or anything like that for credit. Um, like I said, you can purchase a FICO score online, um, but it may still not reflect what your lender is using because there's various versions of the FICO score for different in industries. There's previous versions and things of that nature. So, okay, what is the difference? Like I said, there really isn't, um, it's just a difference in maybe probably like how they calculate it more so than anything else. There is, um, but generally for the most part, they are the same, um, except for the Vantage score. Now you're saying, well, what's the Vantage score? I've never even heard of that. Well, that's a credit rated product that was created by the three boroughs, Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian. They came up with their own product in uh, March 14, 2006. And what they did, they created it to try to, to compete with the FICO score. Um, is the reason why they created this particular product. Of course, you can get that. Um, you can go on their, on their website as well, pay a fee and get their score as well. <laughs> so, um, but as far as to tell you what their exact formula is, I can't tell you the exact formula because, you know, it just depends on the company. I don't have access to that information in all of my research, but they are those different ones. So you have the FICO score, that's the brand name one that for a credit score. Then you have FACO, which is all other ones. And then even the three credit bureaus created one called the Vantage to kind of compete with the FICO score. Uh, let's see, what else did I find out for y'all about that? Oh, okay. So like I said, the creditors and the lenders use, you know, can use their own, they use the kind of the credit score based on what relationship they have or what relationship they have, whichever credit bureau. So sometimes it could be the credit bureau score, it could be the FICO score, or even the lenders may even have their own score that they calculated based on their criteria and come up with that score on their own. But the only way for you to know for sure is that you'll have to ask your particular lender what type of score that they're using so you'll know. Also, for whatever reason, if that lender ends up denying you, um, denying your application or giving you less than favorable terms of what you want, um, they are required to give you a copy of that credit score and the reason for their decision. Um, okay, why should you even care about 
about these credit scores and things like that. Like, well, because like most of my clients, you're trying to increase your score and it's kind of um, maybe disappointing a little bit when you go one place and it tells you your score is this and you go somewhere else and it's telling you this and it's, it's just nothing is very um, equal when it comes to the scores. You know, it may be 80 points higher over here or 80 points lower over here. So basically what I try to tell my clients is that if you just, you can use the FICO score as a basis if that's your preference, but as long as you're working to improve your credit, no matter what kind of scores out there or what criteria it's being used, it's going to increase over all of them regardless. Um, it's kind of what I tell them about it, but just you need to be constantly trying to work on improving your credit score regardless because it prevents you from getting the things that you want for your family and your needs and things like that. So it's very important that you work towards increasing your credit score. If you need some help in that area, I'm available to you. You can go to bit.ly forward slash book with NIF, a free credit consultation. We can review your credit um, reports from all three bureaus and see what is that we can do to assist you in that area. Um, thank you for tagging and sharing. Thank you for being here with me this morning. And remember, if you have any questions about finances, whether it's budgeting, saving, paying off your debt, or credit questions, you can submit them at bit.ly forward slash ask NIF or I would love to answer your question here on live. Um, she probably wasn't the only one that had that question or was a little confused about that. So if this was information was helpful to you, please tag, please share. If you're on Periscope, please do the same as well. I truly, truly appreciate your time. You can catch me here every weekday morning, Monday through Friday, on the Money Matters Morning Show, where we talk all things faith, finances, and the freedom of good credit. And remember, owe no man nothing but to love him. For he that hath loveth hath fulfilled the law. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.